the pre-op x-ray doesn't really show the extent of the calcification if you look at it through the microscope you'll see it is blocked quite solid the patient was referred because the dentist couldn't locate canals and as always the patient was in extreme pain we also had a little pus there in the area of the mesiobuckle canal I find it works the easiest in my hands is to use the Startex number 3 tip to uh, crop on that joint between the grey reactive dentine and the yellow secondary dentine a uh, lot of spray on the mirror as always um, I like to keep it tips cool uh, so frequent wiping is needed to make sure that we have a clear field of view as you can see it's starting to dislodge in this case we were lucky sometimes they don't dislodge in fact it became so loose that it simply disappeared into the high volume suction unit when the assistant held the suction next to the tooth uh, it wasn't even necessary to lift it out with uh, excavating instrument as soon as it is out uh, one should try and resist the urge to take your instrument and uh, go for the apex because a lot of the collagen fibers can especially in the case of the lowers drop down the canal as you can see there in the distal that is uh, a lot of calcification instrumenting that can risk ramming the debris down to uh, the apex and stopping the files from going to length what I use to break that debris up is a combination of ultrasonics and normal sodium hypochlorite to dissolve the organic component out of that uh, collagen obstruction. Ultrasonic activation breaks the fibers up nicely, brings it into suspension and closer to the orifice of the canal for simple removal by irrigation. For irrigation, I prefer 3% sodium hypochlorite during instrumentation and when there's enough room for it, 6% sonically activated sodium hypochlorite for at least 10 minutes. I will also use one full minute of EDTA per canal. As you can see in this mesial canal, the fluid draining indicating communication between the canals. I'm also a firm believer in a warm gutta perca technique. In this case it was the continuous of a wave vertical compaction into the apex and the backfill was done with preheated gutta perca. For curved canals I will use a carrier based obturation. The next clip shows clearly the application of preheated gutta perca into the distal canal filling out that oval space quite nicely. Uh, it's just much better than it would have been with a cold technique. After finding final caries removal, we built the cool and refer back for the crown. The opinion is that gospel coverage is critical, the tooth will not survive without it.